Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another thread up mystery box, but it is the denim box, 50 pounds of denim. I've only done this box one other time way early last year, and I believe it was $60 at that time, and the price has since dropped. It's only $50 for 50 pounds. And when I filmed that video, I wasn't quite sure if it was a good deal. I was still very new to selling a lot of women's clothing. I was mostly doing kids. And after it was said and done, I took a lot of that stuff to buy, sell, trade. I ended up making a pretty great profit. So my expectations for this box, I am hoping being at 50 pounds, in my experience, a pair of women's jeans is about a pound. So I'm hoping for 50 items and that will make my cost of goods, you know, under $2. So that's kind of my hope. I have had some pretty great luck sending items back to thread up recently. So I will be sending stuff there. I already am planning this week to go to Plato's Closet and Style Encore. So we'll see. I don't know how many of these pairs I'll actually list, but um, I did cut it. These boxes are huge. 50 pounds is a lot. They come all crunched, but I didn't cut the tape. So we're gonna open this together and I will cut at the end and come back and let you know how many pieces I got and what that makes the cost of goods. And yeah, so let's do it. Uh, this box came from Swanee, Georgia, where most of my boxes come from. Yep, and $50 actually wrote on the top of this for me. $50, 50 pounds. It was $50, and shipping was $5.99, so that made my total $59.63. So we will see what that makes the cost of goods. I will say a lot of people are unhappy with ThreadUp's new point system. I had like 60,000 points and they, they kind of, they changed it up. You can look into it. But anyway, because I spent so much money last year buying all the things, I get free shipping now over $29 where it used, it's, I think it's 79 for everyone else. So now a lot of these rescue boxes will have free shipping for me, which is great. And I wasn't sure it would apply to rescues, but I've already tried it and it did. So hopefully they don't change that. All right, lots of bubbles. I've got some different, buckets down here where I'm going to go ahead and kind of separate things. But all right, let's start it off. So this could be denim. So it can be shorts, jeans. I've gotten um, jackets, skirts. So, all right, this is a pair of Maurice's. We don't have that down here, but I know it's not that great of a store. This is a size five, six, which is juniors. So that will go straight into my Play-Doh's closet. All right, these are made well, and let's see, they look pretty good as far as, you know, there's maybe like the slightest bit of puckering, maybe not. Actually, I don't think there is any on these. Uh, they're very tiny, which that's what you expect in these. They're 25, 11 inch high rise skinny. So those are pretty great. I will probably actually list those myself. So that's a separate pile. What do we have here? Anybody remember when these were cool? <laughs> I feel like when I first graduated college, True Religion kind of took over. Um, these are True Religion, they just say 36. There can be men's and women's items, so I don't know if these are men's or women's, just honestly by looking at them, not sure, so I'll have to check. But this is probably a pair that I will send to, there's the back, um, Play-Dohs as well. Another pair of shorts, these are Loft size zero. These will probably will go into the Style Encore. And then whatever Style Encore and Play-Dohs don't take from me, that's the stuff that then I will turn around and send back to thread up in a partner kit. All right, these are Pilcro and the Letterpress. I love this brand. I love their tag. They are size 24P. So I'm guessing 24 Petite maybe. Do they have Petites? I will look, but just a cute pair. I like the hem. Uh, let's see. They don't look like they have any puckering. I'll of course have to look a little deeper, but I will probably list these myself because I don't have a lot of denim in my shop, so I would like to add some. So even if they're tiny sizes, this is Ann Taylor Loft. Um, size, I think it says size zero, but the size is kind of worn. So I don't know that my buy sell trade will take these but they will go in the Style Encore pile. These are BKE, which I believe is buckle. 
They are the Peyton Bootcut size 27 long. So I will probably, I don't know how well these resell. They actually are in pretty great shape. I will look, put those in my look it up pile and see if those are worth me listing. All right, we've got a couple pieces of black denim. These are J. Crew Mercantile. And the inside tag has been cut. Yes, all of the inside tags are cut except for one random. So no idea. They do seem very high rise. And other than not having a tag, they're actually in pretty great shape. So I don't know. I don't mind listing things without tags, but jeans are just tough. So I don't know. These are gonna go in the, I don't know what to do with you pile. All right, these are Old Navy, super skinny, size 18. Another pair of black. They look okay as far as the pucker, and you guys might see flaws before I do. These will go to Play-Dohs. And, you know, when I tell you guys the cost of goods at the end, you might be like, well, is it worth it to send some stuff to Play-Dohs? As long as I have a couple pieces that I can list myself, um, my, I average around 2 to $3 on the low end when I take stuff to buy, sell, trade locally uh, to the Play-Dohs and Style Encore. So to me, you know, it's worth it because I'm, even if I'm kind of not making much, I'm going to trade in that stuff to get stuff that's worth it for me to sell. So it's basically like doing an even trade for better stuff, if that makes sense. All right. These are American Eagle. They are size two. They are the super stretch jegging. I have had okay luck selling American Eagle as long as they're in decent enough shape. So I'll list those. These don't have a tag inside. What are you? Don't. Oh, I do see a tag way down in here. These are Prana. And I probably, if I had Googled a Google lens, that might have figured that out. Do they have a size? They have a style number. That's great, but I don't readily see a size. So I'll have to do some digging, but Prana typically does okay. Oh, I like the cuff of these. These are cute. So we'll see. Probably why Fred Up didn't take those. Ooh, new with the tag. These are Loft Curvy Crop. And because, I mean, these are white, so I'm really gonna have to look at these. But because they're new with the tag, and a, a bigger size, I will probably list these myself. Otherwise, they would have gone to style. A pair of kids jeans. Some people, when I watch these unboxings, are like, oh, kids, but y'all know how I feel about kids clothes. So these are a 3T, too small for my littles. They are just Oshkosh, but I am going to once upon a child tomorrow probably, and I see my bin right here for that. So that's gonna go right in my once upon a child bin. These are Eddie Bauer, slightly curvy straight. And let's see. I don't see a size right away either on these. I'm not gonna take up all your time looking, but they actually appear to be in pretty great shape. Eddie Bauer, for me, anytime I send that into thread up, they take it and they price it pretty high and it's the partner kits, so it doesn't matter to me if it sells or not, I still get my payout, but I go back and check just because I'm curious what has sold and it always sells. So I don't know, maybe they didn't list these because there isn't a size, but uh, we will see. All right, these are Express. Another brand I remember paying way too much retail for at the mall back in the day before kids. These are a 3032 skinny fit. So does that mean they're men? Hey babe, I found you some jeans. So when Michael and I started dating, he was all about structure was still around. Did they have Express for men when structure was open? They turned into that. Oh, see, so this, tell, this is dating us. So he would go into structure and then it turned into Express for men. And he couldn't just go in and buy a nice shirt. He would have to buy the pants also. And then if he bought pants, he'd have to buy a new belt. I mean, I'm pretty sure he spent half of his paychecks at that store before we got married. So these are size 30, 32, which is about his size and has been for the last like 16 years. I'm not bitter or anything, but his size goes down over the years and not up. 
So look, babe, found you some cute pants. Super skinny. <laughs> we'll see. If not, these will find their way to Play-Dohs. I believe, I mean, if it's by 32, that has to be for men, even though they kind of look like women's jeans. All right, these are Ch uh, Chico's Platinum size 2.5 which is a good size in the Chico's world. Oh, I like these. They have um, like a leopard print, some kind of animal print detailing, and they are cuffed. So these are like high waters on purpose. What's the name of that? I don't know, but they're really cute. I don't know off the top of my head what 2.5 is, but yeah, I think I will probably Attempt to list those if they have no attention. I know ThreadUp will take those back from me. Another pair of Madewell. These are like an acid wash black. They are, they look like great inside. You can tell they haven't been washed a lot. These are the, the perfect vintage jeans, size 24. So every, I mean, all these tags, they look like an, they are in great condition. So again, super small size. That's to be inspected expected in these boxes but otherwise in great shape so i will list those these are gap 3032 slim taper software look babe another pair for you you might have to come say hello to my friends they like when you're on these videos but i actually these feel nice we wear the same size jeans these days by the way my favorite jeans are gap size 10 30 like Mm -hmm. women's and these are 30 32 for men they're cute right yeah try them on for you hmm. love you what are you meaning for it's your skinny mini I self can't help my waist size all right these are gap uh this looks like an old tag uh let's see 10 by 30 regular see oh these are for me look i got jeans and you got jeans both where'd you go oh he <laughs> walked out the other way um so these are actually my size. They're actually kind of cute. Why do I keep saying actually? I don't know, but look, like they have a little bit of paint right there or something. I don't know, maybe, will, maybe that will come off. I didn't try really hard. Yeah, that's scratching off. So I will actually try these on for myself. Oh my gosh, now just because I'm curious, I gotta see. Oh yeah, they're definitely, they're like the same size. Hmm, all right. These are simply Vera, Vera Wang, straight. These will go to style encore. And they're not even jeans. They're like those crops again also. So we'll see. All right. These are another pair of Madewell. Super tiny. I got this person's entire jean collection. These are 10 inch high rise skinny size 25. But again, no puckering. They do have a small little stain right here but that looks like a stain that i could get out myself so i will keep those i apologize for the sniffles i have this runny nose situation happening but only on one half not the other half it's obnoxious all right these are blingy these are the ankle what the skinny ankle size one i don't know what brand these are i don't know Size one. Oh, they're Chico's also. But look at the blinging. Those are fun. So, and there's the little thing on the back. All right, moving on. We're probably halfway. And denim, like the and sign, the ampersand, whatever. Size 31. And denim. Another pair of black. Uh, these are probably the first pair. I mean, sometimes I've watched these unboxings, which is why I've only ever bought this once. I was a little nervous that every pair has like the puckering right here, but these have it a, a little maybe, but this is like the first pair where I've kind of noticed it. So, oh no. These are old school. Oh yeah. These are old AV boot cut, just below the waist, size two, long, stretch. But look at this tag. These are like vintage. Do they have the date? Mm, Q404. So not quite vintage, but look at these bell bottoms. I feel like 
These are back in style. Just below the waist. I don't know. I might look these up and these might be something that are like the whole Y2K or situation that people are looking for again. And the bottoms are okay. I mean, they've got a littlest bit of where they touch the ground, but we'll see. This is why I don't buy, didn't get this box. This is overwhelming. This, I mean, I love the 200 pounders, but this is a lot of denim. They cram a lot into here. All right. These are Gap size 27 regular favorite jeggings. These look pretty good. I like these. You have a cute hem. What to do with those? Hmm. Size four, regular 27. Probably style encore. If I need an inventory, I'd probably list those myself, but there's a shirt. This is made well. This is nice. I like this. It's a chambray denim style shirt. Can you see the whole thing? Yeah, I mean, I don't look in with you guys, so I don't really see anything wrong with it. It has a size. Let's see. Holiday of 2015. So it's not like super new or anything, but oh, cute. Now we're coming into some white denim, which is not my favorite. These are loft size 29, eight curvy ankle skinny. They're white, but if you look, they actually are like a white polka dot. Oh, they have a zipper. These, I will probably, they, I mean, they need to be washed. They have a couple look like surface dirt stains, but that's probably a style encore. This is Old Navy OG straight high rise secret slim pockets size two. This tag makes it look like they haven't been worn at all. Like they look, they feel, they feel like they've never been washed just by feeling them. So I'll have to check them out being white, but I mean, so far I would say if you are looking for inventory, I don't know the cost of goods yet, but these are all listable items. They're all, they've all been in great enough shape. I just, because of my business model, this isn't my full-time gig, don't want to personally list them all, but I feel like you could. These are Hollister size seven, waist 28. They're like a cream colored. Okay. Children's Place, which is kids, size 12 skinny. I actually might, oh no, I was gonna say these, I'll see if these will fit my son, but there are hearts on the tush. He might not appreciate that. So these will also go right to Once Upon a Child. Another new with the tags. These are Avenue Blues, size 16. I don't know anything about that, but they kind of, the tag kind of looks like something you'd see at like Bells or, so I don't think anywhere is gonna take those. Maybe Thread Up might take them back, but they will first start at Style Encore. These are Signature Levi's, Signature Levi Strauss Modern Skinny 3130. Hmm. But they look like women's jeans. Modern Skinny, I don't know. I don't know if these are men's or women's. I'll make Michael try them on just because that is around his size. Okay, these are Mid-Rise Straight New York and Company size eight tall. That's an old tag too. Wow. I remember shopping at that store when I had my first like career job back in like 2004. Okay. I mean, they're in okay shape. They're just not new, but their stuff wasn't cheap and I feel like it was pretty well made. So I just don't know that anywhere will buy that. Ooh, these, now these are my kind of jeans, y'all, and I'm not even joking. They have this nice elastic waist. I have jeggings like this. These are apartment nine, which is Kohl's, I think, size 16 straight. Look, this girl is not gonna hate on elastic waist because I'm wearing yoga pants right now. So these are okay. Style Encore might take those. Some more kids, karate skinny built-in flex max size 5T. Um, these are my daughter's size, but I'm pretty sure I tried the style on her and it was a no. We gotta have the ballerina skinny. So these will go to Once Upon a Child. These are kids headquarters, six to nine months. Same thing, nothing wrong with them, but that's where they will go. 
These are short, Hollister, short, short, low rise, size 9, 29. These are definitely several years old being so short, but hey, maybe low rise will make a comeback one day. Don't know, but in the meantime, I mean, I actually have sold a pair of low rise shorts pretty recently. People like me aren't on the high rise, high rise train, so. All right, these are A and A, a new approach, denim crop, size 14. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. These are American Eagle Outfitters. High rise, skinny stretch. It looks like the size tag was cut. Because all of this is typed in there, but the size tag right here. So I don't know what size they are, unfortunately. So. All right. Children's Place, size 14, boot cut. More kids jeans nothing wrong with them but i kids jeans unless they are bowden hannah anderson peak some of the higher end kids jeans uh even on kidizen it would cost me a padded flat rate eight dollars and 55 cents to ship these children's place runs specials all the time on their website for 20 dollars jeans and free shipping so that's why i say like for these brands it's just not worth it especially in the bigger sizes but if, like again, if I needed inventory, I could list that on Poshmark as a bundle item. They would sell. All right, these are Arizona Epic Juggings, size 11. So some juniors jeans. Hopefully something Play-Dohs will take. Ooh, I love this color. Ooh, these are Articles of Society. Look at that nice embroidered A, like, like it was made for me. Articles of Society inside. These are a size 27. I like these. I don't know how the resale is on this brand, but these look nice. I actually really like this color. Looks like they might be a little bit of puckering right there. A little bit. Maybe from the right when you hold. I don't know. So I will look these up though. All right. These are Celebrity Pink, which is like a cheap brand, size 3. These are Old Navy Curvy Skinny Size 8. Old Navy jeans do sell well. People know the style and their size. They don't want, like, for me, I don't want to go to the mall. If I needed a pair of jeans, like, I know my size and gap. I love the gap jugging size 10. Like, that's my jean. So, but again, I don't want to take the time to list them, the whole photographing, but you could. So, honestly, I feel like this box is kind of undervalued but again I have seen some pretty terrible unboxings where everything is stained or not good brands so like any other mystery box it's a huge risk these are Cherokee size 12 which I believe is little girls just look bigger than that so again once upon a child because my kids are nowhere my son is well he needs a size 10 12 for length but like an eight for the waist it's a whole thing all right old navy rockstar mid-rise like all of these old navy jeans i'm getting they're in great condition it's just do i want to take the time you know these are a size 16 with a nice hem i wish i could get my mom to wear jeans like this she would be like you've lost your mind but they're nice and old navy jeans are not cheap anymore Hermosa Super Skinny Bullhead, which is like a PacSun brand. I remember shopping there. Size five, short. I don't know if these like resell well or not, but they will probably go to Play-Dohs, but they're in great condition. So I am very happy with the condition of the items in this box for sure, especially if you've watched any of my recent mystery unboxings. All right, these are Levi's. 514s, size 10 slim. Oh, so are these boys? These look big. They look, I guess they're boys. They're nice looking. Maybe these will fit my son. Yeah, 514, size 23 by 25. So 23, so cute. I mean, they might. It's 60 degrees here in sunshiny Orlando, Florida. So it's a little chilly for us. So we've been wearing jeans but again my kids just cannot find any all right these are gap size 29 true skinny Ooh, i might have to try these on too i'm like a 6 8 10 depending on the day of the week and the brand and the style i literally have size four through like 10 in my closet 
Women's clothes are so crazy like that. It's like it's even certain brands, like I love Lily Pulitzer. I have a dress that I love that's a size four and fits me and I have a size 12. Meanwhile, men's clothes, a large is a large is a large. Jeans, you know, just me over here ranting about women's clothing. And I, f I find little girls clothes to be the same. My girls can fit any, like five different sizes, but my son's good. All right, some, ooh, some AG jeans. I know some people have said, oh, they don't sell anymore, but some of my highest sales last year were Adriana Goldschmied. These are the size 27, the Stevie Cuff, Slim Straight Cuff. So a good size. I mean, they are white, but I think they're really cute, which means I'll be able to find a good stock photo. So I will list those. Some maternity jeans, loft petites. Um, I don't see a size right away, but if I can find, oh, here we go. No. Oh, so size six petite. I actually might list these myself. Maternity jeans are something that are definitely necessary, but really expensive to buy them brand new for the short amount of time you'll wear them. Few pieces left. First kiss. This looks like something you'd get like at Ross, size nine. So juniors, but I think style wise, they're all right. Zico premium size three. This also looks like a kind of a, cheap, a cheapy junior brand. So we'll see. Hopefully Play-Doh's is looking for some denim. These are, okay, these are, have been made. These are size 30, 30, which obviously are not. So obviously a pair of men's jeans. I don't know the brand that were cut off. Relaxed fit. It's the only tag in there. Looks Faded glory. I had to look at this. So a pair of Walmart jeans that someone cut. I don't know. Maybe I'll take those to Play-Doh's. Yes. I'm gonna wear, what? I'm going to wear this for you. My husband said he's going to wear these. He will. They are size 30 waist, which is what he wears. I, I guarantee you. Should that be my thumbnail, you trying on these? Uh... I'll do it. All right. The Diva Old Navy, size 4. Again, a pair of white, but they look, they just feel like they haven't been worn. But they are like a crop. Two more pairs. Another pair of maternity. These are indigo blue. Don't know what that is, but my once upon a child also takes maternity. So um, I will, because I don't know this brand, I'll probably take those there. And the last pair is a little pair of kids. Old Navy Karate Skinny, again, size 5T. Same as the others, but I would keep them if they were the ballerina style, but great condition. So let me cut and I will come right back and let you know what I paid per item. All right, so I, it was better than I expected. Remember, this was $50 plus shipping. I paid $59.63 for the box. There were 57 pieces. That makes my cost of goods $1.04. So honestly, not much more than my cost of goods going to the bins. It probably would be a little bit more because of the poundage and the stuff is quite heavy. So honestly, like I said earlier, I don't consider any of these garbage. Like, I mean, I haven't done a, a thorough under the lights looking all that, but there wasn't anywhere I was like, ew, these are trash, which I know my last box there was. So really this is, in my opinion, a pretty cheap way. If you like listing denim, you just need some inventory. And this box used to not come available quite often, just like the shoes. But every time I've looked recently, it's been available. That's why I was, I decided, hey, I don't have any jeans in my shop really right now. I was kind of hoping for a pair or two, which there are a couple for me to try on. So that's pretty great. So yeah, I would say there's maybe 10 in my pile that I'm going to list myself. The rest is going to buy, sell, trade. So I will... I'm not going to track each piece individually from this box just because I've got some going here, some going there, but overall I'm happy and I know that I'm going to profit on this. So as I do my what sold videos, which I'm a little behind on already this year, I'm hoping to kind of keep a tally. I, the things I do put in my inventory, I will note that it came out of this box. So my goal is just out of the things I sell myself to recoup the money and everything else is just bonus. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.